Tyler, Texas. I'll do a quick outside uh, view. Start looking from the left of the building. You have a ramp that's approximately, I'm sorry, a, uh, a dock, a uh, uh, drive up dock that's approximately uh, 30 feet long by 10 foot wide, two and a half feet high. Got walk up steps. Looks to be in good condition. Slab's okay. It empties into a, an eight foot by eight foot overhead uh, roll up door. Here's the side entry door. It takes you out. This is the main road. At least the way I came. Highway 20 is about seven and a half miles that way. You got a pylon sign out front. You have three overhead doors facing the parking lot. Largest one is a 12 by 12 with a little pull up ramp. You have two 8 by 8 doors. As you can see, there's no accessibility to them. So we're going to. I assume the landlord will be responsible for creating a pad that you can make these uh, usable. As you can see, the parking lot is in good shape. Doesn't appear to be any defects. And as we walk into the storefront, it's a single entry door. The basic showroom is approximately 25 feet going across from uh, that corner, that door, to that is 25, and then you've got 26 feet going across here. You have a series of offices, and I can't really show them, the, the, the power's not on, um, but you have a series of offices and bathrooms that I'll uh, put on the drawing. And then you have a mechanical furnace here that appears to be pretty new. The outside condensing unit is only a couple years old. You have a five ton unit. Um, water heater. And then your uh, sock sink and closet. There's one of your uh, bathrooms over on this side. And then as you walk out into the, into the warehouse, it's uh, basically between post to post is 24 feet. So you got approximately 120 feet coming all the way across, and I believe it's 50 feet going across that way. From the low point of the ceiling to the floor, is 14 feet and then it slopes up from the high point without the beams is 17 feet. As you can see you've got these beams that you'll lose some, uh, some space on. You have another bathroom that's uh, in these office areas and again I'm not sure that you'll be able to see it because of the lack there of light. But the floor, as you can see, the floor's in good shape. Uh, it's got minimal cracks. You've got these parking blocks all around that would have to come out. But that's not a big deal. You have a ramp here that's approximately 5 feet in width by 40 feet this way. Um, it's two feet high and it slopes up. So in talking to the regional uh, Mike Helfert, a thought would be to either extend the ramp out an additional five, six feet and do the same thing so you could bring the trucks in and, and swing the high-low around. Or what's a more cost-effective is to just bring the pad out this way so that they could come in and then slope it back down 
to the warehouse. You will need to add warehouse lighting. The warehouse lighting is minimal at best. The roofing looks to be intact. There's no visual signs of moisture either uh, on the ceiling or the insulation or along the perimeter of the building. You do have a floor, floor drain, very minimal slope on that floor drain. I guess my thought initially would be this is similar to the uh, Grand Rapids job we did. Um, my guess and the easiest thing to do is to just gut everything, relocate the HVAC, make it a 40 by 25 foot showroom which brings you right back into this point or I think the 38 foot mark is if you want to maintain this wall and just flip the bathrooms into